My uncle lives in Virginia and around his parts they have lots of weird stories. You hear people talk about hearing strange music in the forest, and when they try to find out where it's coming from they'll get totally lost, even when they're familiar with the area. There's also a sort of local legend about a ghost dog that goes exactly the opposite. People will get lost in the woods and sometimes a huge dog will appear and lead them home again. They say it looks like a giant black lab. I'll green text a couple of quick ones my uncle told me once. Uncle is a young man out hunting in the woods. It's a beautiful early fall day, and dead quiet. His eyes are scanning the trees slowly. Spots a huge elk about 20 feet away. Apparently elk weren't common around there at the time, so he was kinda shocked, but even more so because the thing hadn't made a sound, and it was real close. Well I'll be danged. A strange sound to his left, like someone playing a flute. Uncle quickly look over, then back at the elk, but it's gone. The flute playing sounds very far away, and Uncle gets nervous. He's heard stories of people getting lost looking for music in the forest. He's also spooked at the disappearing elk. He starts heading in the direction home. He knows these woods like the back of his hand, and he can tell he's going in the right direction, but the music seems to be following him. It'll get louder, seeming to be right behind him, and he'll stop, then the music will grow distant and faint. Nope.txt. He picks up the pace, ignores the music, and is soon back home. When he tells his parents, they just nod, knowingly. I think he was about 13 or so when that happened, and it was the first time he'd seen or heard anything weird in the forest. He wasn't a skeptic at all beforehand, and the experience made him appreciate the local legends a lot more. So I think this happened not long after the last story, maybe a year later, but I can't really remember. Uncle has a favorite fishing spot that he goes to sometimes. Beautiful clear water and fairly isolated. Fishing always helped me clear my mind. He is out there with his fishing rod, staring off into the trees, hardly paying attention, when he hears the same flute music from before. It's very faint, but Uncle recognizes it immediately. He snaps out of his daydream and starts reeling in his line. But as he's doing this, a thick blanket of fog sweeps over the area, really quick, almost as if it lifted right up from out of the ground, all around him. Uncle's hairs stand up on the back of his neck. He knows the way home, but he's still worried because of the fog, it's almost impossible to see anything. He's hurrying through the forest. There's a natural trail from him constantly coming this way, and even if he can't see it, he can feel it under his bare feet. He's blowing through the woods as fast as he can walk. The music is following him, just like last time, but this time he doesn't stop. In his periphery, he keeps seeing things. Sometimes lights. He'll turn to look but they fade as he spots them. Then he sees a shadow, like something big is walking alongside him a few feet away, shrouded by the fog. Whatever it is, it's making no sound. As he's watching, trying to make out what it is, he realizes he's not on the trail anymore. He is lost, and panic sets in. He turns back around, hoping to find the trail, but he can't see a thing. Then something comes walking up suddenly towards him. It's a big black lab. Uncle has heard the stories of this animal helping people, but he's already frightened and the dog is enormous. The huge dog lowers its head and gives a low whine. This puts my uncle at ease, it's not acting dominant or aggressive. Then he spoke to it. I talked to him just like I'm talking to you now, like he could understand me. I asked him to get me the hell out of there if he could, and he gave me a soft, low woof. So I followed him. The dog is trotting along and my uncle is holding onto its tail, following it. The entire way, he can still make out the lights and shadows in his periphery, and the music behind him. 
but eventually they come out of the woods into a large clearing with a small road that leads back towards my uncle's house. My uncle is shocked. He recognizes where he is, and it's a good hour from his house. There's no way he walked that far in the fog. The dog gives another low woof, that's my uncle's imitation of it, and uncle thinks it. It saunters back off into the woods, where the fog is quickly dissipating. When it does, there's no dog in sight. I asked him if he thought it was a ghost or something else, and my uncle explained it this way. They say it's a ghost dog, but it was solid. I held its tail the whole way back. But then he disappeared right along with that fog, like he wasn't nothing more than shadow. I can't say whether he is a beast or a spirit of some sort. But I know whatever he is, he's good.